First in the spotlight tonight is Les Morel, a retired company director from Norwich. His specialist subject, the late, great Bobby Moore. Next, Jeremy Reynolds, a college tutor from Northamptonshire. He'll be answering questions on the short stories of Edgar Allan Poe. Chris Grandison, a hospital administrator from Coventry, will be answering questions on the television series Our Friends in the North. And Susan Swan, a London blue badge guide from Wimbledon. Her subject, Richard the Lionheart. And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight, four contenders will face the first hurdle in pursuit of the Mastermind title and, of course, take possession of the famous and rather beautiful glass bowl. The rules are simple enough. Two minutes of questions on their specialist subject and then two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Les Morel. Your occupation? Retired company director. And your specialist subject? Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore, in two minutes starting now. Moore made his England debut in a friendly match in May 1962, just before the World Cup in Chile, against which country? Peru. Yep. Who described Bobby Moore as the spirit and the heartbeat of the team, a cool, calculating footballer I could trust with my life? Ramsey. Yep. Moore spent most of his career with West Ham and later played for Fulham. He shared one of his middle names with which other London team? Chelsea. Yes. In the 72 League Cup semi final second replay against Stoke City, an injury to West Ham's goalkeeper led to Moore temporarily taking over in goal and saving a penalty, although Stoke scored from the rebound. Who was the injured goalkeeper? Bobby Ferguson. It was. In the 1966 World Cup final, Moore was fouled and took the free kick from which Jeff Hurst headed England's equaliser. Which German player had fouled him? Over at. Yes. In which year did Bobby Moore captain the first West Ham team to win the FA Cup, as well as being voted Footballer of the Year? 64. Yep. What was the name of the dance hall where Moore first met Tina, whom he married in 1962? Ilford Palo. Yep. The 70 World Cup match against Brazil is often regarded as Moore's finest for England, particularly for his tackle on a player who scored seven goals in the tournament. Which player? Jazzino. Yes. Shortly before the 1970 World Cup, Moore was accused of stealing a bracelet from a gift shop in a Bogota hotel, although the charges were eventually dropped. What was the name of the hotel? Uh, Tekendama. Yes. In which city did Moore beat Bobby Charlton's record of 106 caps for England? in a friendly against Italy in 73. Turin. Yes, Moore appeared alongside Michael Caine, Sylvester Stallone and many famous footballers, including Pelle, in the film Escape to Victory. What was the name of Moore's character? Uh, Terry... <sighs> Pass. Tina and Bobby Moore had two children, a daughter, Roberta, and a son who was given what first name, which was also Tina's maiden name? Dean. Yes. Which team did Moore play for in the North American Soccer League during the summer of 76? Uh, San Antonio Thunder. Yes, who was Moore's roommate during the 66 World Cup? Greaves. It was. What shirt number worn by Moore for most of his senior professional career was retired by West Ham in 2008? Six. Yep, a week before his death in February 93... <laughs> Started to all finish, Moore made his final visit to Wembley to commentate on an international between England and which team? San Marino. Is correct. Well, you had just one pass, and that was only half a question, because you got half yeah, of it Terry right. Terry Brady. You knew it all along, didn't you? It was Brady, Terry Brady. Nevertheless, Les, you have a total of 15 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Jeremy Reynolds. Your occupation? College tutor. And your chosen subject? The short stories of Edgar Allan Poe. And there were a lot of them. Edgar Allan Poe's short stories in two minutes. Poe's considered to have created the genre of detective fiction with his 1841 story, The Murders in the Rue Morgue. What is the name of the detective in the story? C. Auguste Dupin. Yes, what animals gnaw through the strap with which the narrator's bound in the pit and the pendulum just as the razor-sharp pendulum touches his chest? Rats. Yep, what's the name of Bobby's uncle who's asked to give the date when Bobby can marry his daughter Kate and replies, when three Sundays come together in a week? Grand Uncle Rumbuncle. Rumgudgeon. 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 
At the beginning of the unparalleled adventure of one Hans Pfahl, a hot air balloon made of dirty newspapers descends over which city? Rotterdam. Yep, in the cask of Amontillado, Montresor takes revenge on his Italian friend by luring him into his wine vaults and entombing him alive. What's the Italian's name? Fortunato. Yes, in the Poloid letter, the mathematician Minister D has another occupation which the prefect describes as only one removed from a fool. What is it? Poet. Yep. In the fall of the House of Usher, on what instrument does Roderick Usher play rhapsodies such as The Haunted Palace? Lute. Guitar. What does Hop Frog the Jester persuade the king and his seven courtiers to dress up as for the masquerade? Orang Utangs. Yes. In The Telltale Heart, what feature of the old man does the narrator hate so much that he kills him? His wall eye. Yes, his evil eye. In A Thousand Second Tales, Sherazada promises to finish one of the stories from the Arabian Nights. Which one? Saint Bad the Sailor. Yes, in the story William Wilson, the narrator kills his alter ego at the palazzo of a Neapolitan duke. Which duke? De Broglio. Yes. What is the name of the ship on which Cornelius Wyatt sails from Charleston for New York with his family and a mysterious oblong box? The Independence. Correct. The creature made from wine bottles and kegs, who claims he is the angel responsible for bizarre accidents, introduces himself as the angel of... The Odd. Yes. The guide in the story of Descent into the Maelstrom shows the narrator the Great Whirlpool from the top of what mountain in Norway? Helsingen the Cloudy. Yes. The narrator of the story The Black Cat kills his pet Pluto. The cat he replaces it with has a white patch on its chest that is gradually revealed to be an image of what? The Gallows. Yes. In some words of the mummy, before the narrator goes to bed, he eats a large quantity of a cheese dish washed down with brown stout. What is the dish? Welsh rabbit. It is indeed. Jeremy, no passes, 14 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Chris Granthson. Your occupation? Hospital administrator. And your specialist subject? Our friends in the North television series. Our friends in the North television series. Here we go, two minutes. The series is based on four friends from Newcastle-upon-Tyne over a 30-year period. In the first episode, Mary gives Nicky a birthday gift that turns out to be relevant to his career two decades later. What is it? Cameron. Yep. What's the name of the long-standing Labour MP for whom Nicky writes speeches in the episode 1966 and who later announces he'll retire at the next election amid stories of corruption? Arthur Watson. Yep. In 1964, Geordie Peacock, played by Daniel Craig, has made a girl pregnant and suspected to marry her. But he runs away to London. Who is she? Beniston. Yeah, Margaret Benson. In 1970, what is the name of the Newcastle Chief Constable who leads an inquiry into allegations of criminal activities and corruption in the Metropolitan Police Force? Roy Johnson. Yes, what's the name of the tribute band that performs during the opening night of the floating nightclub Terry's Bar? Artificial Animals. Yeah, which UK number one hit song plays over the end credits of the episode 1984 which deals with the miners' strike? Two tribes. Yes, Mary and Tosca's son is a police officer and agrees to give evidence against other officers at the trial of the Roddy brothers. What's his name? Anthony. Yep. By the episode 1970, Nicky has joined an anarchist group that machine guns the outside walls of a London embassy. Which country's embassy? Spanish. Yep. At which Soho club does Geordie first meet the underworld baron Benny Barrett, played by Malcolm McDowell? King Quop. Yep. Who plays Les, a talent agent? He watches Tosca sing at his parents' pub and offers the advice, don't give up the day job. Pass. In 1974, Mary and Tosca row about money and the amount of time she spends on the Labour Party and studying for a degree in what subject? War. Yep. Tosca leads the choir to sing a hymn at the funeral of Mary's brother Patrick. What hymn? Faithful, faithful Fathers. Yes. In 1987, what prison sentence is Geordie given for arson with intent to endanger life after he sets fire to his mattress in a homeless shelter? Life. Yep. What is the name of the MP Eddie Wells, American parliamentary researcher in 1987, who is in fact working for the PR firm Colin Butler Communications? Francine Walker. Correct. In 1979, Tosca's drinking and womanising leads to him missing his daughter playing in a tournament final of which sport? Netball. Correct. Claude Seabrook, the senior Conservative MP who goes on to become chairman of Edwards Overseas Construction Services, is played by which actor and writer? Julian Fells. Is correct. One pass, don't give up your day job, was the advice offered by one Bobby Nutt. You've scored 15 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Susan Swan. 
Your occupation? London Blue Badge Guide. And your specialist subject? Richard the Lionheart. Richard the Lionheart in two minutes. Richard I of England, commonly known as Richard the Lionheart, was born on the 8th of September 1157 at which palace in Oxford, also known as the King's House? Beaumont Palace. Yep. When he was 14, Richard was installed as the ruler of a duchy that had become part of the Angevin Empire after his mother married the future King Henry II. Which duchy? Aquitaine. Correct. Richard established his reputation as a military commander in 1179 by capturing a fortress on the bank of the River Charon. What was its name? Ty Yes, on his way to the Holy Land in 1191, Richard exchanged gifts with King Tancred of Sicily, who gave him 19 ships. According to Richard, the gift he presented at Tancred in return was... Excalibur. Yes. Where was Richard put on trial by Emperor Henry VI at Easter 1193? Speer. Yes, while Richard was still in captivity in 1193, whom did he select as the next Archbishop of Canterbury? Hu Hubert Walter. Yes, to raise money for his crusade, Richard formally acknowledged Scotland's independence in a treaty of 5th of December 1189 in return for 10,000 marks. What was the treaty called? Quick claim of Canterbury. Yes, what was the name of the self-proclaimed Emperor of Cyprus who surrendered to Richard in 1191 on condition that he would not be put in irons? Richard agreed and instead had him bound in silver chains. Isaac Comnenus. Yes, the rebuilding and strengthening of the castle by Richard provided a pretext for his elder brother Henry to oppose him. Which castle? Clerval. Yep. With which of Saladin's brother did Richard conduct negotiations in the Holy Land? Aladdin Safadin. Yes, Richard never reached Jerusalem, although in January 1192 he established a camp in which place only a dozen miles away? Beit Nuba. Yes, Richard died while besieging a castle in March 1199 when he was fatally wounded by a crossbow bolt. Which castle? Chalut Chabrol. Yes, in which abbey was Richard's body interred beside that of his father? Fontevco. Yes, what was the name of the mercenary commander who served Richard for many years and helped capture the Bishop of Beauvais in 1197? Mercadier. Correct, Richard's army defeated Saladin's forces at a battle on the 7th of September, 1191, during the march from Acre to Jaffa. Which battle? Asuf. Yes, which castle on the River Seine was built in only two years, between 1196 and 1198? Richard boasted that he could defend it, even if its walls were made of butter. Chateau Gaillard. Yes, Richard was betrothed to the sister of King Philip of France, but ended the engagement amid rumours that she had been seduced by his father. What was her name? Alice. Yes, what an extraordinary round. You had no passes. You've got, this is most unusual in the first round, 17 points. <laughs> well, a uh, remarkably high-scoring round altogether. Let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, 14 points, high score in itself. Jeremy Reynolds, joint second place, 15 points apiece. Les Morel... And Chris Granderson, first place with that remarkable 17 points, Susan Swan. <laughs> so it's the general knowledge round now, and if there is a tie at the end of it, which seems entirely possible, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there'll have to be a tie break. And the six higher scoring runners up, incidentally, will also be able to claim a place in the semi final. So, plenty to play for. Let's get on with it and ask uh, Jeremy to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with 14 points. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go, two and a half minutes this time. What bird did Picasso feature on his poster for the first International Peace Congress held in Paris in 1949? A dove. Yep. The name of what condiment and cooking ingredient comes from the French for sour wine? Vinegar. Yep. Who became one of Britain's best-known war reporters when she covered conflicts around the world as the BBC's chief news correspondent from 1989 to 2003? Kate Hady. Yes, the botto, or pink dolphin, is a native of the upper Madeira River and the basins of the Orinoco and which other South American river? Amazon. Yep. What term for a second crop of grass after the first has been mown or harvested has come to mean the state of affairs following a significant event, especially one that is destructive? Pass. Who wrote the novel The Black Arrow, set during the Wars of the Roses and first published as a single volume in 1888? Pass. Which American president, who served from 1977 to 81, was born in Plains, Georgia, the son of a peanut farmer and warehouser? Jimmy Carter. Yes. Which 1971 film starring Dirk Bogart as Gustav von Aschenbach is based on a novel by Thomas Mann and features excerpts from two of Mahler's symphonies? The Silence. Death in Venice. What name that comes from an old English word for drill or bore is given to the striking limestone arch near Nulworth Cove in Dorset? Turtle Door. Yes. In 1980, which England all-rounder became the first cricketer to score a century and take ten wickets in a test match? Ian Botham. Yep. The Motown singer Mary Wells, who died in 92, had a UK Top 20 hit in 1964 and again in 72 with the same song. What was the song? 
all of my love. My guy, the name of which West African country, whose capital is Yaoundé, comes from the Portuguese for River of Prawns? Cameroon. Yes. Who was killed by the future King David using a stone and his sling, according to the first book of Samuel? Goliath. Yep. Bursa and Adine were the capital cities of which empire until the 15th century when the capital was moved to Constantinople? Ottoman. Yes. What laboratory at Cambridge University was opened in 1874 under the direction of James Clark Maxwell and named after the university's chancellor, the Duke of Devonshire? Cavendish. Yes. Which celebrated soprano made her final operatic appearance as Tosca at Cotton Garden in July 1965? Say Margot Fontaine. Maria Callas. Robert Harris's 2013 novel An Officer and a Spy is about an historic miscarriage of justice in late 19th century France, seen through the eyes of a whistleblower, Colonel Georges Picard. What is the historical case called? Pass. The name of which black seabird comes from the Latin for sea raven or sea crow? Gannet. Cormorant. Which rocky islet that is the southernmost point of Ireland was known as the teardrop of Ireland because it was the last piece of the country many emigrants saw as they sailed for America? Trelly. It was Fastnet. The Fastnet rock. You had uh, three passes. The Dreyfus affair was uh, George Picard and all of that. Uh, chap who wrote The Black Arrow was Robert Louis Stevenson. And the aftermath is the word for that sort of second crop of grass. You have, Jeremy, 25 points. <laughs> and now, Les Morel again, please. And uh, you have 15 points in this very high-scoring game. 25 is now the score to beat. Let's see if you can do it. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. Which entrepreneur and inventor launched the ZX80, the UK's first mass-market home computer in 1980, and later the C5 electric vehicle? Sinclair. Yeah, what word that originally meant the reach of the outstretched arms is used for a unit of depth of water? Fathom. Yes, in Hindu religious philosophy, which system of disciplines to free the body from the limitations of the flesh and attain union with the supreme being has become associated in the West with exercises to promote physical and mental well-being? Aesthetic. Yoga. What rhyming expression describing disorderly haste is also the name of a fairground amusement with a spiral slide? Helter Skelter. Yes, which 1896 H.G. Wells novel is about a naturalist who gets stranded on an island where a mad scientist is trying to humanise animals by surgery? The island of Dr Moreau. Yes, which rugby league club based in Pepignon beat Wigan Warriors on their Super League debut in February 2006? Dragons. The Catalan Dragons, yep. The finale of Elgar's Coronation Ode for Edward VII is a version of a patriotic song with words by A.C. Benson. What's the song? Land of Hope and Glory. Yep. Who won the Best Actress Oscar in 1995 for a role as the nun sister Helen Prigent in Dead Man Walking? Susan Sarandon. Yes. What treaty of March 1918 between Soviet Russia and the Central Powers ended Russian involvement in the First World War? Brest-Litovsk. Correct. The 17th century physician Francisco Silvius is said to have invented gin when he redistilled spirits with berries in an attempt to create a diuretic medicine. What plant were the berries from? Cotton. Juniper. Which saltwater lake that lies to the east of the Caspian Sea was once the world's fourth largest inland body of water? Its volume has been drastically reduced by irrigation since the 60s. Sears is off. The Aral Sea. What is the name of the veteran radio and television quiz master and presenter who had his first major television success as the straight man to Arthur Haynes and later Benny Hill? Pass. Which tree-dwelling mammals native to Central and South America and known for the slowness of their movement have families named Two-Toed and Three-Toed? Sloth. Yep. In which fictional town is Ruth Rendell's detective Reg Wexford based? It was originally inspired by the West Sussex town of Midhurst. Maidstone. Kings Markham. Which painter and Dominican friar was born Guido di Pietro around 1400 was described by Ruskin as not an artist but an inspired saint? Giotto. Fra Angelica, what term for the state of tension between the rival power blocks after the Second World War did the American political commentator Walter Lippmann help popularise in the title of his book published in 1947? Balance of Power. The Cold War, which American rock group of the late 60s and early 70s consisted of John Fogerty on lead vocals, his brother Tom on guitar, the bassist Stu Cook and the drummer Doug Cosmo Clifford? Loving Spoonful. Creedence Clearwater. <laughs> One pass, Les, and you'll be ever so cross when I tell you the name of that veteran quizmaster, Nicholas Parsons. Oh, my. I know. <laughs> and the problem is it leaves you with 24 points. <laughs> and now, uh, Chris, again, please. 
And you also got 15 points to start with, and the score to beat is still 25. So, here we go, two and a half minutes. In November 1972, Bobby Fischer beat Boris Baskey to become the first American ball world champion in which game? Chess. Yes, the rich creamy milk produced by Jersey and Guernsey cows is sold in bottles capped with a top of what colour? Gold. Yes, which London art gallery was established in 1856 to display paintings of those persons who are most honourably commemorated in British history as warriors or as statesmen or in arts, in literature or in science? National Portrait Gallery. Yes, the Falabella is one of the smallest breeds of which animal? It was bred in the Argentinian pampas and reaches a height of only about 30 inches. Horse? Yep. An award-winning museum in the port of Fraserburgh is dedicated to lenses, prisms and other artefacts from which particular type of building? There's an example of it nearby at Kinnaird Head. Lighthouses. Yep. Which hit song by Smokey Robinson and the Miracles featured the line but don't let my glad expression give you the wrong impression? Tears of a Clown? Yes. What term for a crucial or definitive examination comes from a method of assessing the purity of gold? I see. No, the acid test. What is the title of the 2005 film based on the life of the heavyweight boxing champion James J. Braddock that stars Russell Crowe? The champ. The Cinderella Man. Who wrote Manfred, the dramatic Gothic poem that inspired Tchaikovsky's symphony of that name, which was composed in 1885? Disraeli. Really? Byron. Which Roman emperor was murdered at the Palatine Games in 41 AD and was succeeded by his uncle Claudius? Nero. Caligula. In Islamic tradition, Bilqis is the name of which legendary queen who also appears in the Bible, where she's referred to only by her title? Queen of Sheba. Yes. In which television series did Nicholas Lindhurst play Peter Chapman, a quiet electronics lecturer recruited by MI5 to help inept spies adapt to new technology? As time goes by. The Piglet Files. In 1920, Britain gained administrative control over the former East African colony of Tanganyika from which other European state? Germany. Yes, what general term, meaning bizarre in French, is used for music composed between roughly 1600 and 1750, spanning the period between Monteverdi and Handel? Baroque. Yep. The name of which chemical element with the symbol HO comes from the Latinized name for Stockholm? Holmium. Yes. Who wrote the musical The Rocky Horror Show and appeared as the gothic butler Riff Raff in the film version? Richard Jones. O'Brien. Who declined the offer of the poet laureateship after the death of John Betjeman in 1984? The post was later filled by his biographer Andrew Motion. Larkin. Yep. What earldom was held by John Stuart, a favourite of King George III? He became Britain's first Scots-born Prime Minister in 1762. Rosebery. It was the third Earl of Butte. No passes, Chris. 26 points. <laughs> and finally, Susan Swan again, please. And, uh, well, you start out with your 17 points, but 26 is now the score to beat. Here we go. Two and a half minutes, starting now. What word that originally meant a smooth, stiff sheet for writing on is used for a small, flat, handheld computer with a touchscreen? A tablet. Yes, in the ancient Roman calendar, what name was given to the day that marked the middle of the month falling on the 13th in some months and the 15th in others? The Ides. Yes, the former Royal Yacht Britannia, decommissioned in 1997, is now moored permanently in which port in Edinburgh? Oh, Glasgow? No, Leith. What general term for an exceptional word of art originally referred to a work produced by a craftsman on completing his apprenticeship in order to achieve promotion to a higher rank in his guild? Masterpiece. What screen name was used by the actor and singer Leonard Franklin Sly? He appeared in over 80 cowboy films between 1938 and 52. John Wayne. Roy Rogers. In Tibetan Buddhism, what title is traditionally held by the second highest spiritual leader? The current holder, appointed by the Chinese, is not recognised by followers of the Dalai Lama. Pass. The first book of the Austen Project that aims to reinterpret Jane Austen's books was a reworking of Sense and Sensibility, published in October 2013. Who wrote it? Pass. What term is used in mathematics to describe a positive whole number that's only divisible by itself on the number one? Prime number. Yes, which English singer-songwriter won the Best British Female Solo Artist Award at the 2014 Brits? Adele. Ellie Goulding. The osier, a shrubby tree whose twigs are often used in basket-making, is a member of which genus of trees? Oak. Willow, which American city has a baseball team known as the Red Sox, an ice hockey team known as the Bruins, and a basketball team known as the Celtics? Boston. Yep. Which former grammar school boy and Balliol College organ scholar was Prime Minister between 1970 and 74? Edward Heath. Yes. What name is given to the series of hour-long musical performances broadcast daily on Radio 3 from 1pm to 2pm? 
Uh, Musica? The Lunchtime Concert, which Songbird is poetically known as the Philomel. The name is an allusion to the myth of the maiden Philomela's transformation into that bird. Uh, Nightingale? Yes, what collective name, first used by Frederick Boas in 1896, is given to Shakespeare's plays such as All's Well That Ends Well, Measure for Measure, and Trollers and Cressida because they are too dark to be regarded as comedies. Uh, the folio? Problem plays. A pibroch is a type of music, genuinely ceremonial in character, written for and played on which Scottish instrument? Backpack. Yep. What faith that teaches the essential unity of all religions and of humanity itself was founded in Iran in 1863 by Mirzan Hussain Ali? Uh, humanism? Baha'i. In which northern city was the Oscar nominated 1997 film The Full Monty set? Oh, I know this. Pass. The name of what butter substitute is based on the Greek for pearl? Um, margarine. Yes, correct. Three passes, Susan. And you'll hate it when I tell you. That yeah, northern I city, know you is. know it was Sheffield. Oh, of course you knew it was. That. Of course, of course you did. Uh, John Trollope wrote the uh, other version of Sense and Sensibility, and it's the Panchen Lama. Panchen Lama, I suppose, the Dalai Lama, who's the kind of second higher spiritual leader. 25 points. <laughs> Thank you. Contest. Doesn't get much closer than that, does it? Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 24 points. Good score, Les Morel. Joint second place, 25 points apiece. Jeremy Reynolds and Susan Swan. First place, 26 points. One point in it, Chris Grandison. Which means, of course, that Chris is tonight's winner and he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him, commiserations to Jeremy and Susan, but with their score, 25, just possible that we will see them again in the semi-finals. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, or you can follow us, of course, on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz and do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.